just around the TV set today for a very special reason. Amongst the thousands of letters that we get, many are from handicapped people. In this letter from Jolene, she writes, Dear Circle Square, I'm in a wheelchair and some people make fun of me. Would you do a show about being handicapped? Well, today, our show is dedicated to all of our friends with physical disabilities. And all of us at Circle Square want you to know that no one is as special as you. That's right. That's right. inspired by these special children. Sure. Will you turn it on, please, Naomi? All right. All right. You're really cool. Cool. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Ever see anybody ski like this before? My name is Carl Hillsinger, and in 10 years I've played pro football in Canada and taught skiing in the off-season. No, I never thought I'd end up skiing like this. But there you have it, one car accident, and your life takes a wee bit of a turn. I'm the phys ed instructor for CHAMP. That's short for the Child Amputee Program of the War Amputations of Canada. They hold ski clinics like this one at Montreal, Lac, Quebec, for child amputees. <laughs> Some of these kids are leg amps, and some are arm amps. Could you have guessed they are all amputees? Well, this is Mile High Moon Trombla. By the time this week is over, I'm going to take even the beginners down from the very top. This old mountain should provide a pretty good challenge. <laughs> Things aren't so simple for these kids. They have to fit a boot over an artificial foot. I like to let the kids decide what's more comfortable for them, skiing with or without their artificial limbs. How are you doing? When I skied down and saw the beginners group for the first okay, time on skis, I knew right off I wouldn't have to spend much time showing them how to stand, walk, turn, or climb up a small hill. They caught on to that without any help. Most people would spend the day just learning to walk on their skis. 
But before you ski down a hill, you've got to get to the top. And that presented a little challenge all on its own and involved a rig called a pommelift. Here it comes now. Okay, now just hold on and stand up. Stand right up. Good girl. Way to go, Natalie. Stand right up. That's it. Don't pull. Don't pull. Don't pull. Sit back. Let it go behind behind. Show me what you can do. Turn. Make lovely turns. Be sexy. Whatever. Go. Okay, go ahead. That's it, though. Good, Mike. Very nice. Good. See? Now, that's what I want you all to do. Okay? Good. The advanced group floored me when I first saw them. They look like real little pros. There are a few things you ought to know about AMP skiing. The kids who ski on artificial limbs are putting terrific pressure on their stomachs. When they twist and turn, it's hard, and it hurts. Try to snowplow when you don't have a heel to push with, or make a proper turn without the control of a ski pole. Circulation at the end of the stump is poor, both for leg amps and arm amps. Let me tell you, your stump gets cold. And balance with one arm or one leg, you figure it out. Anyways, see, this is a little longer stump. And uh, I, I found out earlier that you have another a ski leg. Eh? Yeah. What is the difference between this leg and a ski leg? Oh, it gives me more ability to turn. How? Well, not a ski leg. It has, um... Like, oh, sort of like metal braces coming up, and then it's got a leather strap at the top that has to lace up, and that sort of holds it better. Well, in other words, it gives you more support than this one, Yeah, right? and instead of the foot being exactly even with the kneecap, like with the top here, it goes down, mm -hmm. and then the foot's sort of off, and I have a wedge in my boot. It works uh, all by muscle impulses, and there's, there's a ground there, and there's one, two buttons here. They're not for opening and closing, but there's two muscles there, and get it open, you give it a heart contraction, contraction, and you get it closed, you get a light contraction. Where, in your, in your shoulder? No, just... In, no, in, your, in your muscle yeah, here? Yeah. We got the muscles, like... Oh. You know, that's the first time I've ever seen it. I didn't know yet. That's it. Now, could you show me, the like, how does the arm come off? How do you, do you get it off? Anyway? Well, it's a suction, the same as the... Well, it certainly is a suction, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I see. And the electrodes are right there. Ah, yeah. And the ground on the surface. Hey, well, let's show that to the camera there, see? Yeah. The, the, the electrodes on each side. Hmm. So look, when I, I want you to start off on the hill with your feet together like this. The okay? next day, I work with the beginners at the bottom of the hill. Okay. They need these All basics right. before trying the big run from the top. When you start to go straight, I want you to push the heels of your skis out this way. Okay? Now push them out. Let me see you all do that. Push the heel out. The heel out. But don't I don't stop. I don't want you to tell them, I don't want them to lift it. I want you to push it out. Okay? Yeah, they now do it again. Try it again in that. Just try it for me. Put them like that. Now push the heels out. Both at the same time. Okay? Yeah, they good. That's good, Natalie. Let's see you try it. When I joined the advanced group, they were skiing well, but they still needed instruction. Not really basics like the beginners, but technical work to improve their control.
I can't say the kids weren't curious about my accident. It was Jason who finally asked. Carl, there's something I'd like to ask. What's that? Uh, when did your accident happen? How, how was it? I was a ski pro, and I was just coming back from Los Angeles. And I came to Trombla, and uh, we were driving along in a car and hit a hydro pole. And you know what those are, those yeah. were all the big transformers on? Hydro fell down and the wires came down. And I got a concussion in the car, got out of the car, and uh, I was coherent only to everybody else but not to myself. Mm -hmm. Walked up the hill and fell on the wires. And at that time, I had 50,000 volts go through me. Mm -hmm. And they rushed me 45 minutes later to Montreal. A doctor came in and said, this boy is terminal, which means dead. Yeah. And by that, I raised my head and they found out I was alive. And from then on, I, I'm here now, sitting mm -hmm. talking to you. All right, kids, that last one was fantastic. It really all came very nicely. And you're all doing the same thing, which is a little wrong. And what it is, is not rounding out a turn. So what we want to do is to make you turn and make the arc better. So that means that you're going to have to push the heels of your skis out. In other words, try to make the heels go back up the hill again. Try to turn inside your boot so that the skis go around farther. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay? You got a crystal? Yeah. So no more bombing, because once you get on a hill like that, you start making those turns, you're going to... Bye-bye. Okay? <laughs> All right? And we don't want you to hurt yourself for doing like that. The time had come to take the beginners to the top of the mountain. Some were a little nervous. They were still novices. But this was it, the moment they had been waiting for. Mentally, they were ready for it, and the accomplishment would be something they could be proud of. I picked a trail that seemed reasonable and told them to show me the way down to the bottom. And Jason, go slowly. Louis, comprends? Okay. So this, we're going to go down slowly, okay? Are you all ready? Okay. Start going. You can take off, Natalie. Go ahead. Where you go. Go ahead. Take it easy. Go slowly, Natalie. Go slowly now. Go slowly. Nice and easy. That's it. Go nice and slow. That's it. moment for the advanced group was a run down the McCullough, a good expert trail. The kids could hardly wait. All week we had been working on control and speed and turning properly. If these kids could control their turns properly, I knew they could ski down any hill, any time. To make things even more challenging, I told them to follow me, turn for turn, serpentine-like, right to the finish.
look at the gang. done a good job, okay? Now, sweetheart, that's for you. And you know what? You really did a fine job. Will you stay healthy and happy? And, you know, I really enjoyed being with you this week. Okay. Mmm. Thanks very much, love. <laughs> Come on, a hand with a little yeah. Mike, before I give you this, I'd like uh, everybody to know that what you do, because you're above leg amp, to ski with both skis is phenomenal, okay? First of all, I'd really like to give you a handshake for that because there's not too many. I've been in this business for a long time, and you do a fine job. Mike, it's been great having you, and I'm, I'm very proud of you all. Well, it's been a pleasure to ski with you. Thank you. And listen, I'll tell you, what was your biggest impression this week? What did you have most fun at, kind of thing? Skiing behind you. Thank you. Well, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jason, you and I have known each other a long time, haven't we, eh? And you've done a great job. And listen, for the first time on a pair of skis, you did a good job. A little applause for him. Uh, from now on, okay? Plus lentement, okay? And for who? For tout le temps. Merci. Okay? I love giving them those prizes. Every one of them achieved something, and they knew it. I think the clinic was a fantastic success. There was no competition. They were all winners as far as I was concerned. They all felt good about their own accomplishments, and that's what counts. Hey, all right. That was great. Uh, that, was that was a beautiful sure. film. You know, our attitudes towards all of our problems have so much to do with what we'll be able to accomplish in our lifetime. Those children are all living examples to all of us. That's yeah, right. Right. Sure. Hey, guys, let's sing number 71 in our songbook. Say something good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. today. Right. I've got one here from Trinidad in the West Indies. Isn't that great? It says, Dear Circle Square, I love the way you organize your show. I am a Hindu, but I love the Christian nations. I don't very much about Jesus, but Circle Square teaches me a lot. 
I love the way you sing your songs and teach me to learn about God and help me to do good things and not bad things. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a great letter? Yeah. It's really nice. I have a letter, too, and it says, Dear Circle Square, I love your program. I won't tell you my age because you'd probably laugh. Aww. Thank okay. you for the songs. I enjoy them so much. The songs and the simple Christian principles they teach are perfect for Sunday school. Sometimes grown-ups have to remember these principles, too. That's Sincerely, right. Joyce. You're absolutely right. right. That's a really nice good. Circle Square wants to hear from you, too. If you have a question or a problem, we want to help. Be sure. Right. That's right. Or, if you have an idea for the show, tell us. We'll send you a free Circle Square songbook so you can sing along. But write soon, because we really want to hear from you. <laughs> a special thank you to the War Amputations of Canada for providing their film on the Child's Amputee Program today. Yeah. And a special thank you to yeah. Carl Hilsinger for enhancing the children's lives by encouraging them to participate in recreational activities. That's yeah. right. Yeah. is big or small it's amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it that's right if you are a handicap please don't let that handicap keep you from being the best you can be that's right we love you Bye. see you next time Bye -bye. Bye -bye.